The NSIC in Division II has unanimously voted to cancel 2020 fall sports. And the NSIC cited the NCAA's recent testing requirements and the cancellation of fall championships as the main reasons for the decision. Now, as I've previously reported, the NCAA requires programs to conduct COVID-19 testing and have results within 72 hours of a high-risk contact sporting event. Winona State AD Eric Show has said those tests would cost the university $900,000. And since the Minnesota Department of Health does not prioritize asymptomatic tests, athletes getting tested on time would be unlikely. Now, Winona State has committed to honoring all $1.6 million in their student athlete scholarships, but no fall sports means some of the money that usually pays those scholarships won't be there this year. There's going to probably be a four or five hundred thousand dollar gap there um, and that's things that you know I'll be working with the university administration to identify how we're able to do it but I mean it was a very short conversation about will we honor our scholarships to our student athletes and the president Olson uh, immediately said yes and, and he's he's doing everything he can to you know put students first now, an official release says the conference is looking at meaningful spring options for those fall sports. Show says some player feedback he's received has been, since fall sports championships aren't going to happen, why bother playing in spring? And like we've seen from Big Ten players this week, some Winona State players tell Show that they'd be concerned about playing football games in the spring and then turning right around to play a full fall 2021 season. D2 schools are also waiting on official policies regarding eligibility, eligibility status, which Show says will help direct any discussions in the future on spring opportunities.